Would you like to know how good 5G technology really is? If yes, then this video is for you. Hi everyone, how's it going? This is Arthur. And of course, this is Richard Agner, and we are back again today to give you another wonderful video. So, before anything else, be sure to subscribe and push the bell icon for you to always be updated with our new videos. 5G is poised to power the next generation of internet connectivity and e-commerce, faster and more reliable than anything that has ever come before. 5G networks will enable people to communicate, consume entertainment and shop at unprecedented speeds. And so, the rise of amazing 5G technology is exactly what we are going to show you in this video. And so, without wasting any more of your time, let's begin with our number one. Number one is 5G supported robots play piano at WIC. Do you know that 5G-based technology is not only limited to your smartphone devices? Look at these two 5G-supported industrial robots coordinated precisely when playing a piano at a side event of 6 World Internet Conference. These two robots equipped with 5G technology are just some of the many examples that 5G network can work with. 5G technology boasts ultra-high speed, low latency, and high reliability. Number 2 is China top mobile operators switch on commercial 5G services. China's three major mobile operators launched their 5G service plans, pushing China toward full coverage era of commercial 5G services. <music> 5G commercial services are now available in 50 cities including Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou and Shenzhen, according to Chinese state news agency. In Shanghai, nearly 12,000 5G-based stations have been activated to support 5G coverage across the city's key outdoor areas. Number 3 is China's first 5G base station set up in Shenzhen. South China's Shenzhen city has recently set up its first batch of 5G base stations for test. The newly built base stations belong to China Telecom, one of the major telecom operators in China. According to tests, the average download speed exceeds 1 GB per second in the area surrounding Baishi Road, Shefu Road, and Keyanan Road, where a 5G base station is located, with a peak speed reaching 3 GB per second. Number 4 is China Selco's offering discounts to spur 5G take-up. <music> China
China's phone carriers are offering discounts to subscribers after switching on the world's largest 5G network. They want to spur growth for an ultra-fast wireless system that is key to the country's technology supremacy. China's three wireless operators need to attract users to help pay for infrastructure that they have spent more than $43 billion on in 2019. Number 5 is 5G Technology Shines at Beijing Expo 2019. IG is already in use in some parts of China, but where in Beijing has it been rolled out? And since 4G is already fast, do we really need the next generation of mobile broadband? At the Beijing Expo 2019, Visitors can appreciate a world of exotic plants as well as cutting-edge technology. The hall venue is covered with 5G signal provided by China's three major telecommunications companies. Number 6 is the new dashing airport using 5G technology. Among the list of firms eager to gain a foothold at Dashing are Huawei and China Unicom, which have partnered with China Eastern Airlines to deploy 5G technology and facial recognition to streamline the whole process from check-in, security screening to boarding. Number 7 is China's 5G technology highlighted at Mobile World Congress. Chinese developments in 5G networks, the next generation of wireless technology, took center stage at the Mobile World Congress which opened in Barcelona, Spain. China's information and communication technology, giant Huawei Technologies, unveiled its first chip to enable mobile devices to access 5G internet speeds. Number 8 is China's first 5G covered park brings experience to tourists. Visitors flock to China's first smart park with full 5G coverage for an exclusive tour featuring high tech devices during the four day holiday. The park is located in Fuzhou City the capital of southeastern Fujian province, where the second Digital China Summit was held. So 
I hope you found this video wonderful. And if you did, be sure to give us a like, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Arthur. And this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.